sum of the reciprocal of the factors sum of the reciprocal of the factors raj you can mention your doubt right now beta sum of the reciprocal of the factors suppose example if i take the number as 12 number as 12 what are the factors of 12 factors of 12 will be 1 2 3 4 6 12 factors of 12 will be 1 2 3 4 6 12 sum of the reciprocal of the factors 1 by 1 next is 1 by 2 next is 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 6 and 1 by 12 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 6 1 by 12 if i take the reciprocal this is nothing but 12 This is nothing but twelve plus six plus four plus three plus two. This is nothing but sum of the factors by the number itself. Sum of the reciprocal of the factors is nothing but sum of the factors by the number. Very very important point. Please mention. Raj Sharma, you can write your doubt right now, sir. sum of the sum of the reciprocal of the factors is nothing but sum of the factors by the number itself very very important point very very important point very very important point sum of the sum of the reciprocal of the factors sum of the reciprocal of the factors is nothing but sum of the factors by the number itself sum of the factors by the number very very important point this is sn by n listen carefully sir sn by n plus 1 is not required sn by n if the sum of the reciprocal of the factors value comes out to be 2 then the number is said to be a perfect number then the number is said to be a perfect number then the number is said to be a perfect number a perfect number a perfect number a perfect number will be of the form 2 power p minus 1 into 2 power p minus 1 into 2 power p minus 1 this number has to be a prime number this number has to be a prime number this number has to be a prime number a perfect number will be of the form 2 power p minus 1 into 2 power p minus 1 listen carefully to this note if 2 power p minus 1 is a prime number if 2 power p minus 1 is a prime number p may or may not be a prime number sorry p has to be a prime number reverse reverse if 2 power p minus 1 is a prime number p has to be a prime number p has to be a prime number p has to be a prime number reverse reverse if p is a prime number if p is a prime number 2 power p minus 1 may or may not be a prime number listen carefully to this point may or may not be a prime number may or may not be a prime number if 2 power p minus 1 is a prime number p has to be a prime number if p is a prime number 2 power p minus 1 may or may not be a prime number may or may not be a prime number i hope the logic is clear for example if p is if p is 11 2 power 11 minus 1, which is 2048 minus 1. 2048 minus 1, 2047, 2047 is a composite number. Is a composite number. If 2 power p minus 1 is a prime number, p will be a prime number. If p is a prime number, 2 power p minus 1 may or may not be prime. 
2 power p minus 1 may or may not be a prime. I hope the logic key is clear. We will do a last question for today. Sn by n is 2. Sn by n is 2. 450 less than n less than 500. Find the value of n. Find the value of n. Sn by n is 2. 450 less than n less than 500. Find the value of n. If Sn by n is 2, n will, will be a perfect number. What will be the perfect number? It is nothing but 2 power p minus 1 into 2 power p minus 1. So let us take some numbers. p equivalent to 2. I will get 6. 6 it does not lie. p equivalent to 3. 7 into 4, 28 it does not lie. p equivalent to 5 which is 16 into 31 which is 496 which is 496. 496 is the answer. All I did not do it when it came in the exam. A perfect number always ends with a perfect number always ends with 6 or 8. Please write down. There is only one option 6. I tick marked this. A perfect number always ends with 6 or 8. A perfect number always ends with 6 or 8. A perfect number always ends with 6 or 8. I hope the concept is clear. A perfect number always ends with 6 or 8. Sum of the reciprocal of the factors is given by Sn by N. If the sum of the reciprocal of the factors comes out to be 2, then the number is said to be a perfect number. A perfect number will be of the form 2 power P minus 1 into 2 power P minus 1. This number has to be a prime number. Two important points. If 2 power p minus 1 is a prime number, p will be a prime number. If p is a prime number, 2 power p minus 1 may or may not be a prime number. This is the example to prove that statement and a question. And a question. I hope it is clear, right sir?